job to Squishy. Today I'm going to be making a big batch of foam and a big batch of butter slime. And it's a really short intro for today, but I really don't have anything else to, to say. So let's just get on into it. So I'm going to first start off with the butter slime. And for the butter slime, I'm just going to use this really thick and nice and glossy base that I made actually yesterday. Um, and it's just a really nice slime. And so I'm going to add some of my Daiso clay inside. After literally like 10 years of mixing this, all the clumps are finally gone, but it's not as smooth and buttery as I want it to be, so I'm going to add a half a packet of Daiso clay. I have added an extra like half a packet of that's so clay and it's still not as buttery as I wanted it to be or as I want it to be. So I'm going to add one last um like pack of Daiso clay. Now that I am finally happy with the consistency of this butter slime, it, the butter slime is complete. And I really enjoy making butter slime. It does give me uh, a good arm workout. So, <laughs> and, but I just, look at this slime. Just look at it. I'd say this is about, probably about 40 ounces of slime maybe 50 so to me this is a very big batch but i know to a lot of other bigger slime shops it isn't but just for us right now it is so this is what i call a big batch Next, I will be moving on to foam. And for foam is a completely different method. I use a bowl so I do not get the foam beads like everywhere because, man, that is so annoying. Anyway, so I'm just starting off with um, a base slime that is a little bit stickier than normal so it can hold more foam beads. I'm just going to be using these white foam beads that I got from Walmart. And they're like the medium size. Um, they're not micro, but they're not like super jumbo. So I'm going to be adding two packs of these into that batch of slime. Now that I am finished mixing all the foam beads in, this foam slime is complete. And uh, foam slimes are just so nice and crunchy and I feel like the medium sized beads are the best in my opinion for making foam because the micro foam beads they get stuck in your nails and the jumbo ones they just don't feel right in your hands and so that's why I use the medium and I just think this is a really nice foam slime. Oh, sorry guys, I'm using my camera. And this is also really crunchy. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And, well, see you guys in my next one. Bye!